tutorial, we're going to keep working in NumPy or NumPy. Uh, I think both terms are used. And what we'll do here is we'll talk about uh, array shapes and reshaping arrays. Uh, let's get started first by our usual code. Uh, import. Oh, first I need to go to Python. Start an interactive Python session on the command line. And from here, we will import nump as mp. Let that go. And once that loads, we're going to create an initial array called a, and a equals np.array. Uh, and we'll just make it a simple one, two, three array. Okay. Now, I want to get the shape of this array. And this is a 1D array, a one dimensional array. And so the shape is simply going to be equal to the number of elements in the array. And here we have one, two, three elements in this array. So the answer I get should be three. We can get this from the np.shape function. And I can give it the array. And you can see it prints out three. Now notice that three is wrapped in parentheses and has a comma after it. Uh, np.shape returns a tuple. And a tuple in Python is like a list, except being except lists are enclosed in square brackets. Um, tuples are enclosed in parentheses. The values of tuples cannot be altered. The values of lists can. Now it makes sense this is a tuple because you don't want to be able to alter uh, your array shape because you might need that somewhere else in a program you're creating. Now another way I can do this is shape is a property of an array. And so A is an array. I can call that property a.shape. a.shape uh, without the parentheses. <clears throat> and I get the same answer. So that's all simple enough. Um, let's go through and now do this with a, a multi dimensional array. Uh, so we're going to create a2d, which is going to be a two-dimensional array, and it's going to equal np.array. And I'm going to make an array with two rows and three columns. So there's one row. Let's, and here's the second row. And we'll close that whole thing off. Hit enter and let's just see what this looks like. We'll print out ATD to make sure it looks correct. And there you go, an array with two rows, three columns. And now let's get the shape of that array. So A2D.shape, and we'll see it reports 2, 3. Now notice with NumP, we get this report with rows first, then columns. Um, depending on the the programming language we're using or the package or the software, sometimes these get reported differently. This is rows, columns. Sometimes it gets reported as x, y, with x being the number of columns and y being the number of rows. Just know with NumPy, you get rows, columns. Um, that's always important to remember. Okay, now uh, let's do this with a 3D array so you can see what that looks like. We'll only go to a 3D array because it can get pretty convoluted after that. Not convoluted, but just hard to hard to know what's going on. Open the array, open the layer, open the row. Uh, so let's just do uh, one, two, three, four. And there's a row and another row. One, two, three, four, and that row. Another row. One, two, three, four, and the row and the layer. Make a new layer. Open the layer. Open the row. One, two, three, four, and the row, one, open the row, one, two, three, four, close the row, and the last row, three, four, close the row, close the layer, close the array, let's make sure I did that right, A3D, and we have a array with two layers, and each layer has three rows and four columns, and we'll do array.shape. a3d.shape. You can see we have two layers, three rows, and four columns. You can see this is reported as layers, rows, columns for 3D arrays. So that's just the, the basic walkthrough of 
how we can get an array shape. Now what I want to go through with you is how you can reshape an array. Um, so let's start out with a 1D array. We'll just call this A again. Uh, A equals NP dot array. And I'm just going to make this an array with four elements. Okay, let's print A. We can see that A is a simple one-dimensional array with four elements. Well, what if I want B to be a two-dimensional array uh, with two rows and two columns? Well, we can use numpy reshape. We can reshape A. And now what we need to do is we need to give it a shape tuple. We can give it a shape tuple of two, two, two rows and two columns. Now keep in mind that the product of the dimensions in the shape tuple needs to be equal to the number of elements in the array that's being reshaped. So we have four elements. The product of these numbers needs to be four, which it is. Okay, so let's hit enter and let's print B. And you can see that we now have two by two array. B dot shape, two by two. Simple enough. Now, reshape is also a member function of an array, and so we can do the same thing. B equals A dot reshape, and we can give it just a tuple here. And we print B, we see we get the same thing, B dot shape, and we get the same thing as before. So that's simple enough. Now Let's do a little more complicated example here. Let's make a, uh, a one-dimensional array again, but let's give it a lot more values. We'll give it 12 values. Okay. So there's our array A. Um, oh, I didn't do np.array, so let's just go pull this back up. We'll make it a numpy array, np array. Okay, and there we go, we have an array uh, with 12 values in it. And now I wanna reshape this. Let's reshape this into a 3D array. So let's go B uh, equals A dot reshape. I'm gonna give the tuple. Now remember this tuple has to, the product has to equal 12. So if I did two, two, three, two times two times three is 12. And let's do B dot shape. And we can see we have a two by two by three array. And if we print B, uh, you can see we have two layers, uh, two rows in each layer, and three columns in each layer. Okay. Now there's probably no way we could even reshape this. So let's make a variable B two. Uh, we'll reshape A again. Uh, this time, let's do the opposite. Let's do three layers. Uh, two rows, two columns. And let's print B. Oh, let's print B2. Made a new variable. And you can see here there are three layers, each with two rows and two columns. Now the other thing I can do, uh, let's make this B3 equals A reshape. And let's do uh, two, three, two. B3, and so you can see once again two layers, this time with three rows and two columns. And there's there's another option here I can do. Uh, we'll do one last three-dimensional array, quasi. We can do A dot reshape. What happens if I give this only one layer? That's the same as a two-dimensional array. Will it work? The answer is yes, it works. And you can see that two arrays are usually wrapped with two sets of square brackets. This has three sets because I made it a three-dimensional array with the shape. This is going to be the same um, if I do B5 equals A dot reshape 3, 4, you can see that these two arrays are the same. The only difference is the number of square brackets around them. Okay, so that gives you a, a quick overview of how to do some, how to get array shapes and how to reshape uh, with NumPy. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more tutorials.